today I want to go over with you how to handle the commission objection. Now, I'm actually going to give you two different scenarios here. How do you respond when you get the commission objection, whether it's, can you cut your commission? Can you do it for a lower commission? Over the phone, and how do you handle it at the listing presentation, at the listing appointment when they ask you that? They're completely different. Same objection, completely different way of handling it. When you hear it over the phone, not just the commission objection, any objection, you don't want to handle objections over the phone because you go down a rabbit hole. So what you want to do over the phone is you want to diffuse this objection. You're going to address it in person if it comes up again, because sometimes it may not. They may ask over the phone and then you show up and you do an amazing presentation and that's it. They never ask again. That's very, very possible. So over the phone, when you hear, can you cut your commission? you will say, Mr. Seller, that is a great question. And I imagine that you're asking about the commission because obviously you feel like the less commission you pay, the more money you get to keep. And I completely understand that, Mr. Seller, let me assure you that my goal in meeting with you and working with you is to sell your home for the most money possible and in a way that you will keep the most money possible. We will discuss the commission during our meeting. So would three o'clock be good for you today or would you prefer 4 p.m.? That's one way of doing it. Another way of doing it is simply just saying, Mr. Seller, that is a great question because you always repeat and approve. Obviously you're concerned about the commission you pay because you wanna be able to walk away with the most money possible. And let me assure you that that is my goal in working with you. And ultimately the commission is gonna be whatever you and I agree upon. And we'll discuss that in detail during our meeting. So would you prefer to meet today at three o'clock or would four be better for you? That's two ways of just getting around the commission because you don't wanna answer it over the phone. Because if you, whatever you say, think about it. Here's why, okay? I like to explain why you don't answer it over the phone. Chances are the seller who's asking you this don't know you. Most of your past clients, fear of influence, that fear of influence are people you know, right? It's a different conversation. And they're not likely to ask you this question over the phone. They're probably not likely to ask you at all, or they may ask, but they're not really going to decide probably whether they hire you or not based on the commission. When you hear it from somebody you don't know, whether it's someone you called around the neighborhood, whether it's an expired or a FISBO, they have no idea who you are. They don't know what you do. They don't know how you're going to be able to help them. When they ask you this question, if you answer it and they don't like the answer, right? They're looking for a lower commission. They're just going to say, oh, no, another agent said they could do it for less. And they don't even know what you're going to do. What you do. Like, like you're, you're, you're at a loss here. So, and it's very, very difficult to handle an objection over the phone successfully because you're very limited in the way that you're communicating. For one thing, they don't see you. You don't see them. They don't see you. Your tonality and the way you're expressing yourself, not what you're saying, how you're saying it. It's the phone takes that away. And then you don't have your body language. This is one of the reasons why you don't want to handle any objections over the phone, unless you have to. Um, I say, unless you hit a wall, right? You know you hit a wall on the phone when you know they're about to hang up on you. And we feel that, you know, you know, this call is about to end. So it's like, oh, hey, you go all out. That's the only time when I would say you should handle it. Now, what do you do with, can you cut your commission when it comes up at the appointment? If a seller is asking you, I'm assuming now that you've, you're, you've done your presentation and now they ask at the end, when you ask them to sign the contract, now they ask you, can you do it for a lower commission? At this point, at the end of your presentation, when they ask you this, what they're really saying, they could just be asking because they got to ask. You know, some people, it's just like, and, and this happened to me many times on listing appointments when they say, well, can you do it for X, you know, lower? And I say, no, my commission is 
whatever it is. Let's just go ahead and get the paperwork signed. And they say, oh, okay. I just thought I'd ask. That could be it. So when you hear this objection, you always, that's always got to be your first response. Can you cut it? No, my commission is X. Let's go ahead and get the paperwork signed. And you're handing them the pen and you're pointing to the signature line. Now, if it comes up again, if they say, well, no, but you know, now somebody said they'll do it for less or they continue, they bring the objection up again. Please understand this. What they're really saying to you when they ask you to cut your commission the second time is based on everything that you've said to me and how you said it, based on this presentation that you just finished, I don't think you're worth the amount of money you charge. That's really what they're saying. They don't just uh, are asking to ask and sign the contract when you say what your commission is, what they're really saying is, I don't see the value in what you do being equal to the commission you charge. That's what's going on here. As much as I'm going to give you a handler, okay? You need to understand this because it's so important because you, you, you want to avoid these objections. You don't want to be continually getting these objections. You want to show up and present in a way that this seller, they're blown away. Okay, They're like, whoa, yeah, you are my agent. I feel confident that you can get the job done. You'll sell it quickly for the most money possible in the least amount of time, at least in my hassle, whatever. If they don't feel that way, they're going to question your commission. One of my favorite handlers for this is Mr. Seller. I know you mentioned that you've talked to other agents that said they would do it for less. And can I share with you what concerns me about that? See, Mr. Seller, the agent that you hire will be representing you in all of the negotiations with buyers and with agents who are representing buyers. And obviously, Mr. Seller, your goal is to sell this home for the most money possible. Now, these other agents that are saying they can do it for less, Mr. Seller, these agents are cutting their commission just to get your listing. Does it make sense, Mr. Seller, that these agents are going to be tough on negotiating the price and terms for you when they cannot even negotiate their own commission. That doesn't make sense, does it? Mr. Seller, let's get this done right and get your home sold for the most money possible in the least amount of time with the least amount of hassle. I can do that for you. Let's go ahead and sign the contract. You're handing them the pen. You're pointing to the signature line and you're nodding yes, please make sure that audio, what's coming out of your mouth, and the video, which is your body language, match. So when you're talking about the other agent, Mr. Seller, does it make sense that that other agent will be, you're nodding no. And then when you're saying, let's get this done right, Mr. Seller, sign right here. You, your body language needs to match what you're saying. The tonality needs to match what you're saying. Because otherwise, you are incongruent. And when you're incongruent, it is weird. They're going to feel weird if you're saying something, but how you're saying it and, and your body language doesn't match. It's like they're looking at you like, what is this? This is strange. This is weird. Yeah, no, you're not the right agent. Think about that. Because a lot of times you may not be able to overcome an objection. You may not be able to get a contract signed. And it's not because of the script you're using because what you're saying is great, but it's everything else that's just, I trust this one will help you. I will see you soon. Bye-bye.